Bandit Gulf. And today, it is a beautiful day. The sun is out, the sky is blue and the birds are tweeting and we have a new product to review. We do indeed. We have the PRGR, the Portable Launch Monitor. And we have this because we understand that, like most of you guys, golf is boring at the moment, especially if you're in lockdown and you're not able to get out. I mean, just making games up in your back garden, doing short lobs, is it's just not really golf, is it? So we bought ourselves a launch monitor and it's the cheapest one on the market. It's got some really good reviews by some other uh, YouTubers. So we thought we'd give it a go. Cliff, what yeah. do you think? Personally, nice tiny box. This is the PRGR launch monitor, portable one. <laughs> um, let's have a look and see where we go. We only received this last night and this is my first time inspecting this product. And yes, straight away, not too impressed. Look, a bit small, a bit plasticky. Yeah. Something, looks like something out of the 1980s. It does indeed. Um, yeah, I think my old mobile phone is more, yeah. More <laughs> or <technical>. flip Nokia. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely one of the flip Nokias you know, and the Motorola's, but you know, this is an honest product review. You know, it's a bit plasticky. It feels a bit too lightweight. We've got products out there like the SC300, the SC200 Plus. Um, okay, they are a little bit more expensive, you know, but but they do look a lot better, don't they? They do, they do indeed. But looks aren't everything. They're not indeed, they're not indeed. Uh, myself, I've got experience with launch monitors, with TrackMan and so on, so it'd be nice to see, you know, what the readings are of this and see how accurate it is. Um, there is people out there that have given these good reviews. We've seen some really good reviews for it from Mr. Short Game Golf and Top Speed Golf, two really good YouTube channels. We'll leave their links in the description below to this product. And uh, yeah, you know, they, they rate it really highly. We're hopefully gonna give it a good old test today and hopefully it's gonna be really good. Yeah, bear in mind, we are mid handicappers, um, you know, so we've got no affiliation with these at all. Yeah, so we're not making any money whatsoever. Just making that clear. So the review we will give you is, you know, how we feel about this product. So yeah, let's go and hit some balls ash and give this product a review. It's a cliff. Why don't you hit a few balls, give this a test, and uh, let's see what it's like, eh? Yep, certainly. I'm going to go with a six iron. It's a go to club that I use when I start out warming up. And uh, how far do you normally hit your six iron, Cliff? It ranges between, like, yeah, with this, so I'm expecting between 160 to 180 at the moment and see how that progresses. We'll see how it goes. Okay, all right, let's give it a go. We've got a camera set up on the actual PRGR, so uh, let's give it a go, Cliff. Yeah, sure. The readings that I'm getting, 95, you know, club head speed, 182, you know, carry, yeah, that, that, it's reading right at the moment, you know, it's first strike, and yeah, yep. data seems to be, yeah, correct. Full speed, 119, looks good, yep. looks good, and it is set up for the uh, six iron, you are using the six iron. I am indeed, I'm not cheating and using the four iron. Great, we look, okay. there is six iron. And, uh, right, let's see another hit, Cliff, let's see what it's like, whether it's consistent. Looks a bit better than the last one for sure. Yeah, that was a bit more centre. So that was a 94 club head speed, 117 ball speed, and what's that? 179. 179. So yeah, it's what you expect it to be. Yeah. One seventy six. Lovely. Uh, yeah. One fifteen. One seventy six. Ninety four. A bit wonky on that one, yep, and it showed it, 172. Yeah, uh, 172. 113 club head speed, that seems right. What do you think so far? The readings are good. I'm actually impressed with the readings. Um, it's giving good readings. Yep. So, yeah, it's... Um, Tell you what, let's try another club. Uh, let's set up for, should we set up for a 99? Let's start for a 99. 99. 99 sounds good. Yeah. All right. Um, 131, 87, 98 ball speed. 98 ball speed, 131. You did say 140. Yeah. Didn't look like the greatest of shots. It How did it feel? Yeah, it didn't feel like a good shot. That's that. To readings from that, that that looks good. You know, I like the, I like the numbers it is giving me. And this is so easy to change clubs. You know, I just hit one button, 
up and down, enter. Well, that's it, we're done. I mean, it's just, this is pretty much, I mean, it's, it's such a good little product. It is user friendly. Great shot. Great shot. Wow. Big number from this club. We have our 89 club head speed, 111 miles per hour ball speed, and a 182 yeah. off carry distance. And that sounded really nice as well. We sounded centre, and it did sound like, let's see if we can match that again. You know, when I use this club when I'm playing around a golf, I will use this for anywhere between 170 and 190. Um, so you're, the numbers are really good off that. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That wasn't so nice. 178 carry distance. I would have thought that faded a bit. Yeah. Probably Def where I lost a little bit of yardage there. Yeah, definitely a bit low and a bit failing. Yeah, 182, yeah. Consistent numbers. Yeah, that felt like a really nice. 89 yeah. miles per hour club head speed, ball speed 111 with about 182 carry. So, yeah, numbers are pretty good. I reckon we should hit another one. And 186, 186 carry, 113 club head speed. Uh, 83. Eight and 83, yeah. 83, so what's the no, slash ball speed? Is, ball speed is 113, sorry, and 83 club head speed. Yeah, 1.36, I mean, that's normally what I get. Uh, I, I have been having some lessons, and uh, we've been using a more advanced system than this in the lessons. And 136, 1. 1. Well, sorry, 1. 1.36, 1. 1.4 is, what I'm aiming for. 1.4 is my target. 1.32 is normally what I get. Yeah. Uh, so 1.36. So you're happy with these numbers? Well, happy with that. So Cliff, we've got the big dog out. We've yeah, got the three. driver. And uh, how far do you normally hit the driver? Yeah, aim for the numbers being where we are. Uh, 218, 217. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's give it a test. Let's see how it does. 265, first swing. Yeah, feel feel a bit on the bottom. So yeah, I'll take that number. Yeah, two eighty five. Two eighty five six full speed. Fairly big numbers there. Uh, numbers that I could only wish for, really. Right, well, this is this is actually reading numbers that I can feel off the club face. Yeah. So yeah, being I'm a twelve handicap, I know my numbers on the driver. Um, two eighty five. That felt like a really good two eighty five as well. I'm quite happy with that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna try and give another one. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking of the shot that I'm doing. We're going for another draw, are we, Cliff? We're going to go for another draw, another draw shot. So. Yeah, it's really important for when you're doing any shot, really, isn't it? it Imagine is. where you want it to go, what you're doing. Yeah, rather exactly. Rather than just really nearly hitting the ball and just seeing where it goes. Exactly, because what you're not doing, for me, you're disconnecting away from actually the shot that you're making. Yeah. You know, yeah. obviously, yeah. We're, you know, you, people do it at a driving range, they just sit there and. They smash through the balls and they haven't got that image in their head of where they're playing, exactly. what shot they're playing. Exactly. So every time I'm playing a shot, regardless of which club I use, I'm thinking of the shot that I want to play. And this device actually assists with that, doesn't it? It does, Because you yeah. can decide on how far you want to hit the ball, where am I hitting it to, well, at least how far am I hitting the ball, what type of shot am I doing, yeah. and then, you know, this gives you back some feedback of, you know, how accurate were you yeah. on what you thought you were doing. Yeah, exactly. So, what, same again, I'm going to aim for a draw shot. I'm going to try and get it up a bit. I'm going to try and get that slight up. So let's see if I can get this shot in. That was a bit on the toe. Still 277, you know, carry distance. And I knew that shot, as soon as I hit it, I knew it weren't right. Yeah. So yeah. I knew that shot weren't right. I'm interested. I like, I like the numbers it gives. That is. Well, I nearly had my eye taken out by your T that goes flying past. 281, 154 miles per hour ball speed. Right, good, good, good. And the one, 109 club head speed. I really have got to give this another go. I'm right, I, I, I know that you hit your, uh, one of your woods, one of your woods, 250. Yeah. And I think you should be getting that out in the moment. And You know, that was a low one, 252. Two, that is... Yeah, the numbers are good. They're, yeah. they're right, and at the moment I can't fault the products. Products on this sort of well, it's results. It's definitely yeah. giving them good results. 
114 that was a 114 shot I <laughs> felt the ground and yeah slow club it I'd say that was a 214 shot but yeah, yeah. 140 sorry 2 <laughs> I'm believe, um, I believe more in these numbers like obviously being on, on track man is more accurate and I know my numbers with track man and these numbers are coming really close to that and I'm yeah. really impressed with the products as it is and you know the feedback that I'm getting from it and it's not exactly cheap like cheap cheap but no, out what for launch monitors this is pretty much yeah. like, it's the cheapest as far as i know yeah, would yeah. like to get my hands on the uh rap soto mlm yes now, that looks really good i mean that looks like i mean the the app on there looks great but this oh man well happy with it yeah, so yeah. far great shot great shot we have we have a club head speed of 95 we have yep. a ball speed of 128 and we have a carry distance of 226. Two, so that's yep. a really high number, that's really good. Yep. Let's see if we can rip them numbers again. That did feel like a, a that really was a nice lovely shot. And I have been working on um, you know, just letting that arm just come through. In fact, I watched a really good video yesterday with Top Speed Golf and he was just saying, you know, just go with one arm get that let that arm release let it release and that's really helping with my my drive today yeah it's fine yeah, just the way that i'm thinking about it um but yeah great shot again yeah 98 miles an hour club head speed 127 ball speed 223 well, carry so uh, 223 carry so i reckon you should try and Hit that number again, that's really consistent numbers. Yeah, enjoying that. I just want to give it one more go. One more go, he's definitely got his 240 in his head to be. Let's see if I can really release this leading arm. So remember people, you, still, you know, these pros are out there to give you advice. Obviously, they're online teaching. Ashley himself, he's, you know, he's seeking advice and help from these pros and he's working in his favour, so. Yeah. So let's see, 240. Release that arm and skin that ball. Great shot. 240, there we have it. We still have a club head speed of 101, uh, you know, a ball speed of 135, and now Ashley has beat the 241 carry distance. Yeah, I know, that's well, lovely. Done. Do you want to try and go for the 250? No, uh, I think we'll leave it there for okay, today. Okay, right, so are you impressed with the numbers it's given you? Definitely, really good numbers. I mean, we we have to admit we did have a bit of a struggle with uh, wedges, yeah. And um, maybe that's because of the setup that we have here. Uh, but you know, once we go up to nine iron, it, it seemed to be c catching them quite well. Yeah, it's uh, it, obviously we we played around with different wedges. Uh, my wedges are powder coated, so we thought that might be an issue. We changed. I, I got some wedges out of my stores. Um, and we played with them and he didn't like reading them either. But as soon as as I said, as soon as we got into nine iron and going you know, going back down, perfect readings, perfect numbers. Um so yeah, so the only flaw we find at the moment is obviously with the wedges. But we don't really know why we're not getting them, yeah. but but we're sure that there's probably is probably user fault more than anything else.